Bible grade 11 we are going to look at functions particularly a parabola but we are going to look at a section where you are given um, coordinates and you are asked to find the equation of the parabola so there are three different ways that can be done I'm gonna show you all three of them the first one they, they, they can give you the turning point but the only time you say it's a turning point is when they tell you it's a turning point you can't look at a graph and think it's a turning point you say it's sitting at the turning point therefore it's a turning no 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 the question paper will tell you that that point is a turning point so a is a turning point and then they give you one other coordinate so there are two ways of writing a parabola if you are given a turning point you're going to use the turning point method so the turning point method it's y is equals to a into x minus p all squared plus q so you're going to use that the first thing that you do you substitute the turning point so you're going to have y is equals to a into x my turning point is minus 4 and 4 so because of that minus it's minus that one minus from there 4 all squared plus my q is 4 right then the sec second part you substitute the other coordinate the other coordinate is minus 2 is equals to a into no it's not minus 2 my y is 2 my x is minus 2 plus 4 all squared plus 4 right when you get here let us usually make a mistake of adding that to that these are unlike terms you're going to take the 4 to the other side it's a term so you're going to have minus 4 plus 2 a minus 2 plus 2 is minus 2 squared minus 2 squared is 4 so you're going to have a 4 there and then minus 2 plus 2 you get a minus 2 is equals to 4 a divide by 4 divide by 4 half is equals to a it means your a is half so you're going to go here where you have substituted your turning point and substitute for a so your y is equals to minus for a 1 over 2 open bracket x plus 4 squared plus 4 so it depends on the question if in the question they say write it in standard form then you have to multiply it out so you're going to have my 1 over 2 then we're going to multiply this bracket x times x is x squared x times 2 10 if you can multiply the 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 square like that look for our videos binomials and multiple and learn how to do that you don't have time in an exam to split the brackets 4 times 4 is 16 plus 4 right then you can multiply with the negative negative 1 over 2 x squared now it says negative it's facing down so it means it's correct my a is correct it's going to be minus ne negative 1 over 2 times 8 is going to give me minus 4 x negative 1 over 2 times 16 is going to give you minus half of 16 is 8 then it's plus 4 then it's minus 1 over 2 x squared minus 4 x plus 4 Okay, then you have it in a standard form if in a question paper maybe they say find a b and c you have to have it in a standard form and then you have to say a is equals to a you don't have to because you've calculated you have to say b is equals to minus 4 and c is equals to 4 provided they've asked you that this is the first kind so i'm gonna do the second one okay the second one is when you are given the x intercept and one other point the x intercept so that they, they're not gonna tell you that they sometimes they don't but you'll see that it cuts where it cuts the x-axis and the coordinate for y it will be zero so when you're given that and another point you're gonna use this formula y is equals to a into x minus r1 x minus r2 different textbooks use different things some textbooks they'll use x1 and x2 it doesn't matter it's just that whatever that is is the value in the turning point so you're going to substitute that value first so it's x minus 
you have a minus 3 so it will be plus 3 then x minus this one is positive so it's going to stay positive like that right so you go the next thing that you do you substitute the other point the other point my y is minus 4 a into my x is 1 plus 3 is the same x so it's 1 again minus 2 so you have minus 4 is equals to a 1 times 3 is 4 4 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 it's minus 1 minus 1 multiplied by 4 and it's here we got 4 so you'll get minus 4 then you divide by minus 4 you divide by minus 4 1 is equal to a your a is 1 yes it's positive it's phasing up then it's correct so far so good now you go here take this one you go y is equal to substitute for a it's 1 you don't have to write 1 Then you multiply the bracket out to make it in standard form. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is minus 2x. x times 3 is plus 3x. x times 2 is minus 6. Then you get x squared plus x minus 6. Then it's in a standard form. That's all you do. Now let's look at the third one. Okay, the third one. When we are given y intercept and 2 other points so the y intercept also they will, might not tell you in exam uh, you'll see 0 and 3 or 0 and whatever number so it's the y intercept so when you are given this you must write the standard form first so it's y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c then you calculate you, you substitute uh, c you calculate the intercept so it's y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus 3 in this question is 3 and then you use any of the points I'm gonna start with this one you substitute I have minus 7 is equals to a minus 1 squared my x is minus 1 plus b into minus 1 plus 3 okay so I can take the 3 to the other side I get minus 10 is equals to 1 squared going to be a minus b right so i can make a the subject of the formula to make my things easier so i'll have b minus 10 is equals to a so this is my equation one we're going to use martinez equation okay then you come here again you substitute the other coordinate so i have 9 for y is equals to a 3 squared plus b 3 plus 3 do I intercept then I solve 9 is equals to 3 squared is 9a plus 3b plus 3 then I can substitute for a I have 9 is equals to 9 into my a is b minus 10 plus 3p plus 3 I can take the 3 to the other side it will be negative oh I can let me do 9 times b 9b minus 9 times 10 90 plus 3p plus 3 then I'll leave b this side this one and that one should be 9 plus 90 minus 3, 87. When I'm taking the 87 to the other side, it should be positive. B and B is going to be 12B. Right, let me get my calculator. Then I add 87. 9 plus 3, 87. I get 96 is equals to 12b divide by 12 divide by 12 
8 is equal to B. So my B is 8. My A, I'm going to have A is equal to minus 10 plus 8. So my A is going to be minus 2. Does it make sense? Yes, it's facing down. So it is correct. The shape, because the shape is correct. Okay. Then you have to write it in standard form. Y is equal to minus 2x squared. My B is plus 8x. And my C is plus 3. So this is how you find the formula. If you are given Y intercept and two other points. Sometimes in an exam, they will not give you the two other points. You find that usually they don't ask the graph alone. They have two or two or more graphs. Then you find that the intercept of the other one, then you can get it like that. Thank you for watching. Please practice, practice, practice and subscribe if you have not done so.